hello friend good morning today i am going to take a very good uh, important topic regarding for data presentation in ultrasonic testing so there is a three type of first is the a scan second is the your b scan and third is the your c scan so you must be known what is a scan what is b scan and what is the c scan because if you see when you do the ultrasonic testing then your ut data can be collected and displayed in a number of the different format so these are the different formats and three most common formats are known in the NDT world. These are the most common, common A scan, B scan, C scan presentations. Okay, each presentations mode provide a different way of looking at and evaluated the region of material being inspected. Modern computerized ultrasonic scanning system can display data in all the three presentation form simultaneously okay so all these we can see okay so let's start i will take what is the a scan so a scan is a presentation display the amount of received ultrasonic energy as a function of time so if you will take like take examples this is the your object here is the your probe and you are going to this way to this way okay so if you will take a b and c so if you will take in the A scan, in the A scan, your probe motion, probe motion will be static. This is the your, you are doing, you are doing, moving this way to this way, okay. So your probe motion will be static in the in the a scan okay and what you will see the in the crt in the display how you will see it will be the image will be like this image will be like this so in the image you will find like this in the x-axis if you see your x axis it will take it will show you sweep your time and your depth in the x axis y axis how you will understand the y axis what is the y axis y axis it is the your energy reflected like this is the your image so in the energy how much energy reflected and flash size how defect you will understand you will identify by the peak for the defect okay now what is the B scan B scan if you will take this is the your object here is the your defect and and 
you are taking this way okay so your probe motion in the bees can be along a line your CRT pictures how it will be visible it will be like this okay in the x-axis if if you are getting like this for the b scan so for the x-axis it will be so your promotion and for y-axis in the CRT it is your sweep so x-axis and y-axis so in the x-axis it is the probe motions and y-axis it is the showing your sweep below a line section view of defect these are the section view of defect so if you see this this is the section view of defect length of CRT indications which are the length of the defect is scanned in the directions so you can see in the and brightening of the, how defect is the shown how it will be so it will be you can see the brightening brightening of trace so this image you can see okay now you take the c scan what is C scan? If this is the your object, I'm just making your 3D object. And this you are taking, this is the your defect. And you are doing scanning like this. So in the C scan, probe motion as you see these are the over a surface as you know over a surface how they are doing over a surface in the CRT how it will be visible in the CRT screen if you X, this is the your Y it will be so like this as it is the indicated here so x-axis x-axis is the your probe motion and y-axis is also it is showing the your probe motion so x-axis and y-axis both are the in the c-scan both are that is showing the probe motion so if you will see and C is the your top view. You remember, these are the your top view. Okay, top view of plan of defect. Okay, it can be directly recorded on X or Y plotter or this type of things. You can um, you are recording by this how defect is the shown in the CRD it will be the brightening of trace brightening of trace okay guys so this is the your A type B type and C type scan okay so thank you for watching my channel please subscribe don't forget okay my goal is education for all free thanks goodbye